okay we're back um, to another wonderful um, new deck review thanks again um, for returning thanks um, for um, please share these um, videos um, because a lot of the decks that I use a lot of people are always asking what deck are you using and I've had a couple new decks which I have not done um, which I've not I've basically not done a review on which I'm feeling very bad so I'm kind of catching up with this and doing all these review because it's very important to do the reviews of decks because a lot of people um, once and you know I'm going to just do all of these review of these decks and put them up please remember to share these reviews these are very important because a lot of people want to know what I'm working with sometime this is good I don't always um, um, leave the name um, and sometimes people will mail me to ask me what's the deck I'm using again I want to say um, thank you Sadie I don't care who wants to say whatever thank you Sadie um, this was a second deck because she got me two decks um, she was in New York and uh, again thanks to the little red Tara shop let me see if I got that good because um, she was there and she um, and she got me this yeah the little red Tara shop so if you are in the New York area and you are um, looking for Tara's book Taro book and that sort of a thing spiritual things um, the little red Tara shop um, you can go to the little red Tara shop okay this is wonderful so um, thanks again guys and thanks to Sadie um, she was there and um, she came I want to say I just um, finished doing the review of the Numa um, the Numa Mosa Tara deck um, please check that one out people because I was finished doing um, the review um, and see I'm doing the review I'm just opening the deck so that you guys can do and I'm doing the reviews okay I'm just opening the deck as you guys can see and I'm doing the reviews okay so um, I just finished with that deck and really if you are in the fourth or fifth dimension and you're a light worker I think this is um, that because uh, it's an advanced um, that deck is very advanced and beginners cannot um, use that deck because it's very 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 advanced okay so um, be aware of that um, because I have I've, I've been in, in the States um, now um, I didn't get to take my love Tara deck um, I used to do my love portion of my reading because I used to do all the monthly reading with the love portion and I saw this deck let me hold it up because I want to go back to do my love readings okay because I always do my love readings and this is so beautiful it is a um, the um, Victorian um, romantic tarot deck is the Victorian romantic tarot deck and it is um, it is done by Alex Alex Ukolovis and Karen um, Mahonian yeah Mahonian okay so we're about to do this it is the Victorian romantic tarot deck so um, there is the name of the people and who it's done by I don't know if um, they're the um, but we, we, we will go and and find this out together now these lavish um, illustrated cards create the romance of the event <laughs> the Victorian era and I am sorry people that is just something that you should know about me is it's, it's as if those were the best time um, for me um, is the Victorian era I think that I love the clothes I you know it's just so beautiful based on an antique and graft many of which are now rare this deck offers an incredible period of uh, um, atmosphere and a rich 
opportunities for storytelling ah, there's something for me I love this <laughs> I love this I I just love this this fabulous okay um before I go ahead and open it up um this is the card that I got which is so beautiful and it says um, dreaming of the firebird dreaming of the firebird now I think and it says uh, Baba Barak, so oh, Baba Rock. Okay, so this is how it looks it's beautiful, it's dreamy. As someone who is trying to get out there, it's just someone who is trying to focus on something to get things together. I love this card, and it says, Thank you for choosing the Baba. Barak design from Barbara Studio. Okay, so this is from Barbara Studio. We hope you enjoy this fairy tale picture. Um, Alex Yunolik and Karen Mahoney, and it is from the Baba Bak Magical um, Realist Press. Okay, so this is good. Um, this is fabulous. So let's look at it I'm thinking that this could be um, the um, European I'm not sure I don't want to say um, let me look at this the return where should it return to yeah Ireland I knew it was um, um, European yeah it's um, Ireland so um, oh god I love you um, uh, Ireland oh my god this is gonna be fabulous Fabulous. Okay, what I can tell you about the Irish, I personal have a girlfriend, and the best wedding I've ever been to my entire life. I honestly, people, it was the year my mom died, and people always said if you go to a good wedding, there is going to be a good funeral, and I swear to God that's true. And the best wedding I've ever ever went to honestly my entire life is in Portugal in Europe and this was the marriage between an Irish and a British now hello Irish and a British it was the best best wedding ever it was 2006 and that was when I got the news that my mom was in the hospital and I was in Portugal so this is just so fabulous um, the Irish and the English marry because it is it's always a no-no and um, and this is how you can see that the world is changing and it was the best wedding ever everything was perfect perfect down to tea I swear I can remember what I wore I wore the same thing I wore to that wedding to my mother's funeral fabulous fabulous darlings let's get in it let's get and it okay it's so beautiful and um, um, Portug Portugal was also so beautiful I'm trying to figure out this box we're going to try holding it together it's like this now I don't know if anyone is happy the way this box is open up but I am happy because I love to keep my cards um, very clean and very, and, and in, in, in all their boxes is I don't like the soft boxes and I love the way this open ups and I and I think I know why they did it like that because it's in the time of the Victorians and this is how they dealt with things they had these little jewelry box and those sort of a thing okay this is what it looks like and it opens like this and that's how it is isn't it beautiful and, and things are not falling out so I love this I'm given the box um, the box is a 10 a, a big thick tight kissy poo 10 I love this book it's an, a, an an miniature book which is fabulous I don't know what's happening to the light which is good Victorian romantic um, Torah and I swear to God I swear my soul is lost in that time <laughs> the Victorian time 
so um, this is a book that comes with it this is the back of the book I'm, I'm loving this I'm loving this just seeing and this is how it is and if you look it's nicely packed I'm love the for the packing of it because it's just um, just very 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 nice I really like the packing of it because it's just very nice okay mmm okay um, this is what it looks like you see that it's brand new I just got the box this morning um, and I'm doing this so that it can be out online for people who want I love the back of it it reminds me of the Dutch Dells blue this is so beautiful it's really a Victorian um, in the time of the Victorian era okay so let's get it down let's get it down let the music let's get it down. down I am so loving this oh my god people let's get down yeah I I'm loving this I uh, yeah it, it's gonna get I uh, let's see I'm loving the way it's packed you can see that it's a new one I was like Hmm, the plastic around it was it used? Did someone open it? But now I'm understanding why. Okay, so the deck is open, so let's go through. And you have this, which you have, um, we have spoke about this. I don't know what's happening with the light. Yeah, which we have spoken about. This is what came out first. I am bloody loving this card. <laughs> Um, this is the full. I'm, I'm really loving this. This is just super cool. Okay, why is it that I'm oh, okay there? So this is the full, wonderful. Um, you can see that this came up in another. Then we have the magician. This is good. This is just so fabulous. The magician. You know that was in the Victorian time. It's a beautiful card deck. Um, the light, however, the light comes up on the card deck because um, there's too much light. Okay, like this. That's it. So that's the okay. The Eye Princess. Okay, girlfriends. I don't know if I can use this deck um, because they might said se something sexual, but I think this is a wonderful deck. It's a, all about love. And romance okay then we have who is this the Empress this is it Victorian time the Empress so the Empress is nurturing her babies her kids um, the white dove is there letting her know that you know it's gonna be okay she's nurturing her kids and that sort of a thing and this is going to be good now we have the Emperor the Emperor is good it's a wonderful energy the Emperor is here it's a wonderful energy there we are we have the Emperor so um, that is also good we have the air to which it's like Santa Claus coming to ask the kids what they want for their birthdays you know this is I am loving this I don't know about you guys but I think it's a fabulous um, deck okay the lovers No! Wow. What's happening here? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We have another lovers. And it's 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 the um the romantic um tarot deck. So and it has two lovers so it could be one lover that you you know one is your partner and your soulmate yeah this is the husband and wife and that is the flirtatious that is the one you're having an affair with so this is husband and wife marry in the face of God and this is the hot passionate woohoo one night stand shit going on okay let's go on 
we're not gonna get in that are we <laughs> the chariot what is happening with the chariot this is the energy of the chariot um, it's a Victorian time people so you're gonna be seeing this I love this the energy of the strength um, this is powerful um, this is a good way of depicting it um, wonderful then we have the hermit sitting down wondering pondering on what is the next move oh my gosh then we have the wheel of fortune I'm loving this I'm, I'm just really really loving this the wheel of fortune okay the wheel of fortune this is the wheel of fortune then we have justice and I love this justice it's as if a woman said I'm gonna divorce you I'm just gonna divorce you I will not have it anymore darling no yep then we have the hangman oh yeah we are going to behead him we are going to behead him then the angels I'm always telling you guys that um, the temperance depict the energy of the angels these are really angelical cards and it's Ireland so there's a lot of angelical things that is coming up in these cards I'm seeing them this is really um, whoever did these cards is coming from a place of an angelical place because you can see them coming back in this card and the energies that is here okay um, this is the um, the the, the you really <laughs> But this is a cute one, isn't it? Yes, this is a cute one. Oh, and we have both. We have so we have two lovers, and you've just seen it that I've just opened the deck. Whatever is happening, you've just seen it that we've just opened the deck. Okay, so whatever is happening, you're just seeing it that we have opened the deck. So whatever the situation is and whatever is happening, there's two lovers and there's two devils. So. Um, what this can mean is that uh, um, um, this is uh, this is this is the woman the she devil and this is the male devil so um, you could be having an affair um, outside so with a woman or he could be having an affair um, with someone else okay um, this is depicting a lot of shit that a lot of information will be coming out especially when readings done so you have two lovers and two devil okay now we have the energy of the tower now um, the energy of the tower is you a kind of floating on the cross because um, there is a flood okay um, this come in the form of a flood and you know you're beat up by the energy of um, the river coming in and this is in the energy of a flood energy of the star is here I'm loving this it is so powerful you can't even see the name of it but this is how it looks um, this is this is extremely extremely beautiful okay the energy of the moon is here I'm loving this moon because it's a psychic moon um, it's a psychic moon and it's a moon offer uh, be aware I'm about to tell you something this is a psychic moon this is a psychic person this is a clairvoyant person that is receiving information so I love this that was in the Victorian time energy of the Sun I'm loving this isn't this gorgeous this is beautiful the energy of the Sun this is beautiful a pure white horse um, um, the baby um, the a pure white horse and um, a baby um, the angel of love that is uh, um, going with the horse judgment is here um, where your angels comes um, to let you in on something and um, you know they're saying hey Oh my gosh this is so beautiful so many angelical I'm not sure if you guys are seeing it but I'm seeing it 
if your third eyes open you're going to just see a lot of stuff that is going on in these cards they were I think they were powerfully angelically done um, and this is what I'm saying to you guys every deck has um, a, it's like a stamp it's like a press um, of who done it whether a multi-dimension beam well whether a, pa a, a, um, a palladian um, or a universal beam or indigo but it's, it's stamped in there and this is one of it which is angelical this is the angelical deck okay the world oh my god I'm loving this this is super this was nicely done um, thanks guys oh isn't this beautiful this is fabulous this is fabulous that's the world okay the ace of ones this is beautiful the ace of ones um, I'm trying to figure that one out the ace of ones that is an angels an angel coming in to bring you a message remember it was in a Victorian time so angels was uh, um, could be seen by the pure eyes because people weren't um, it's not like now two of ones um, the two of ones um, you can see that this person come with a, a, a branch piece um, a branch of peace in their hands um, the three of ones is here the three of ones is that you have um, done your part you're playing your music and you're moving on okay <laughs> I love this uh, the four of ones this is a strong foundation it's a chemist it's beautiful you are performing it's um, concerts um, this is I mean, you know some of you could be performing some of you could be um, um, attending the concerts but it's a strong foundation whatever is happening this is beautiful five of ones obviously these young men decided that you know I need to have that piece of land and you know I that land is close to me I need to plant some stuff on it and they're fighting it out they're gonna fight that out six of ones the picked good news coming in the soldiers are coming home from the battle of the war against the English yeah because in those time or you know we're not going I don't get in politics okay then we have what's that and you know what is so beautiful the seven of ones you're standing your guard and there is so much things coming at you but you're standing up and you're thinking and you're studying how am I going to do this I gotta I'm standing up to them okay eight of ones mm, I love this eight of ones um, it is just so powerful the eight of ones with a powerful brain there or buffalo what is coming but he's holding the power and this is good you know I'm really tired of the woman and that lion you know something different um, nine of ones um, you or you know resting out but you are uh, you're resting out but you are also um, standing to protect yourself at the same time you know um, you are bleeding but you're standing and protecting yourself ten of ones this is this pit to um, protect ten of ones it's a burden you're walking with your baby you have the wood on your back because you went to look hood and that sort of a thing so um, that is just so page of ones as this little boy comes and he has the message from the king and he's about to allow the message from the king and said so, oh here he here he the king wants to speak <laughs> I'm sorry but it's, I'm, I'm sorry guys but it's just so funny I love this I love this time I was so aligned with this time Woo! then we had the knight of wands 
don't really like this one it's like I want you to be my wife whether or not you want to be and I'm coming to pick you up fabulous fabulous okay all you um, Aries Leo and Sagittarian women and obsolete darling you look beautiful beautiful look at that I love these clothes I am so adorned by the Victorian clothes it's beautiful isn't that the most beautiful dress I love the yellow hat and I love the blue thing <sighs> I'm sorry guys I just I, I was just stuck in the Victorian time I can't seems to be getting myself out at this age neither I love this I I, I I adore this because whenever I go to France I'm always going to these old second-hand stores these Victorian times and I can spend the whole day looking through stuff and looking for stuff okay we have the king of Wands, and this was always like this in the Victorian times and this is the king of Wands. you know really planning and seeing how they are going to be cheating out someone ace of cups beautiful energy the ace of cups beautiful energy it's a new love coming in he's testing out they're kissing new love coming in that's the first time they're about to kiss and find out what it's like the two of cups oh darling you know hello you know it's the first picnic out after the kiss then they decide to put their clothes on that's the first picnic out and he's staying and trying to romance her and she's buying every word she is and then we have the three of cups which is fabulous the three of cups we have the energy of the three of cups Woo, girl that's a show girl in those times we didn't have strippers and um in those times we didn't have strippers and um bimbos so anyway what we have now fabulous fabulous dance show girl i love that I, I, I don't know then we have the four of cups but yeah there it is the four of cups uh, it's a little sadness because this guy wanted another girl it's his, you know it's you know it's his birthday and you know he's kind of sad because somebody didn't come to his party spoiled brat whatever five of cups oh I love her dress I love this I love the purple the green you know the thing over the shoulder the, the, the ponchos and that sort of a thing you know and the wine the, 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 the music the party's over and yeah she has to get out of the castle and walk back to the peasant because she's a peasant and you know she's regretting it because she liked it in there you know so that's the five of cups and it depicts exactly what it is six of cups um well um it's the rich family having the breakfast and um darling golden blonde hair and boy hair that is red and mom so um, this is a wonderful depict of, my, um, of the family and you're seeing it more and more in card decks that the depictment of family is that the color of the hair are being changed but you know it's your soul family and this is good so that's beautiful okay what do we have here we have the seven of cups now the seven of cups is that there's so many opportunities you know the seven of cups is that you know I'm seeing so many opportunities I'm fishing I'm thinking all these ideas are coming up I have the boat there I can do this I can do that but as a sitting and planning because there's so many other opportunities you could be doing eight of cups 
all right eight of cups is that you went to visit she went to visit um, you know our partner and the mother said that he wasn't at home and she knows he was at home and she and the dog you know the dog putting his, his tail between his leg and walking home so that's um, the eight of cups nine of cups Ooh, I made it good mm, I made it good Wow, I've got a lot of wine. I wear nice clothes. Yes, I've hit the jackpot. <laughs> and this was in the Victorian times. Okay. So here we have the Ten of Cups. So it's Christmas. It's a new birth of a baby. Um, it's fabulous. Um, and mother is still laying in bed, but the baby is out. Um, and and you know the the person who delivered the baby is here showing off the baby it's not her baby though because the mother is still page of cups now hmm I know exactly what to tell my mommy I know what to tell my sister I'm gonna get my sister to do something that she's not aware of smutty little person Mm -hmm. Um, the Knight of Cups. I love this with this Knight of Cups. Mm, God damn it! I told you he was. I told you guys, didn't I tell you guys that he was a Casanova? Look at all of that. Mm, the charmer and all the girls are ready. I told you, Knights of Cups. Mm -hmm. People between the ages of twenty-five and forty. Mm -hmm. Pisces cancer and scorpion Romeo okay mm. this is the woman and she's like ah mm. I just want to find that guy I'm gonna romance him oh yeah she's gonna get him in his the little octopus claws that's the queen of cups for you Tell you, King of Cups. I love the energy of this King of Cups. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like, mm, mm, yeah, I'm feeling the good. I'm tasting the good taste of life. I am really tasting the good taste of life. Look at this. Fabulous. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords. What's happening with the Ace of Swords? Um, she's not having the Swords app because she's thinking about something before she makes her move. So this is a good Ace of Swords, you know. The Two of Swords, and as you notice, there is no swords depicted in these cards. Okay, and this Two of Swords is basically trying a scene from out um, the memory what exactly is happening and what exactly is transpiring. So she's looking from out of the memory to see what has happened and what exactly is transpired. Okay, she's trying to figure out what exactly is transpired. Then you have um, the three of swords, a heartbreak. He, um, she went to see. She's tired. She feels at loss. She has been walking for miles. It's as if she's given up an hope. Um, it's you know she she she's lost it. She's she's basically lost it. And the four of um, the four of swords. It's all about taking rest, taking rest, taking rest. It's time for resting. Okay, five of swords. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and they become adults and behave the same way, never change. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. They become adults and never change. They, they go on they do this they become adults and they never change they're the same little bullies they were as a baby six of swords I love this I love this 
moving away this color this redness red yellow the fire you're moving away this is Venice it's like you're moving from Venice to Rome you're going on the seas <laughs> I'm sorry guys but I, I just love this um, I think this is this is one of my favorite decks for this year um, fabulous 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 um, this is um, the seven of swords mm hmm now this is a guy who is leaving the army this is the guy who's trying to run away to home leaving the army he's gonna change his clothes soon um, he doesn't want to be in the army anymore so he's he's detecting from the army okay um this is eight of swords eight of swords um trying to figure out a situation and you're not seeing the situation because you're being bound bounded at the end and you're not seeing the situation clearly okay nine of swords <gasps> I'm going to see if he's in this room I'm sneaking I'm walking on the side of the window to check out if he's in this room okay something comes in my mind but I can't say everything um the ten of swords Drowned, drowned in sorrows, drowned in sorrows, um, um, drowned in sorrows. Do you see that? Is the lovers, yeah, but their guiding angels, the white dove, um, is going to be helping them. Oh my gosh, as, as if this man, wife, as is dead and he's drowned in himself with alcohol or sorrows and she's there in the spirit world saying honey you need to um you, you need to let it go honey you need to let it go um you know and 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 you can see um this the the doves and whatever you see white doves is um a perfect sign of alignment with something and the universe is about a perfect sign of a lie alignment something in the universe is about to work for you um, and you can see that because you're seeing the energy of this man um, which he's given up on hope and his, his wife or partner in the spirit world is saying to him um, you know you need to come back you need to be here all right we have the page of swords and he's coming in with some a bullet news you know it's as if uh, I gotta bring this news. I'm on my way. I'm gonna give this news. I'm, I'm out of here. He doesn't care what the news is all about. Sorry, me too. Um, I'm sorry. I, I just need. And he's like, and here we have the Knight of Swords. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh, uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. That's the Knight of Swords. I need not say anything. Mm -hmm. That's the Knight of Swords. And he could be the one that has killed her. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords. She is standing for a battle. That's how they are. And they're going to find some sneaky ways of doing it. Because she's planning she hold the sword and you know she's planning how I'm going to decept you yep yeah that's the swords energy um king of swords um you know they're they're kind of super they're 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 they're, they're always just so um superficial so that's it I'm, I'm being lazy <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. This is the Ace of Pentacles. God damn it, you little cutie pie. Why isn't she? You can see that she sh she saved up all her money. The Ace of Pentacles. It's like, mommy, look what I got. Oh, isn't that cute? Yes, it is. The Two of Pentacles uh-huh and you know this is the depictment that I think of the 
the the queen of pentacles i think this is the depictment it's not really that you have to make a decision it's about balancing out things in your life so this is a good good depictment the three of pentacles wonderful um it's um you showing someone else helping out someone else and this is a really um wonderful depictment of a i'm sorry if if i yeah this is a wonderful depictment because this person is basically helping out these kids and showing these kids how they can make something and this is good four of Pentacles four of Pentacles uh, four of Pentacles energy of the four of Pentacles this is good um, the four of Pentacles energy is um, absolutely fabulous the four of Pentacles um, it is someone who is sitting good on his money five of Pentacles I love the depictment of this it's a mother um, and this is a good depictment then the person has no shoes on and that sort of a thing this is a mother that is just trying to make my ends meet and she's trying um, to um, make sure that her, she's taking care of of her family and I think that is a good depictment now this is another beautiful one because um, in the other um, it is um, a priest that is given this lady and her kids and these people outside who is begging for help is giving them money and this is also um, a nice one seven of Pentacles I always tell people that the seven of Pentacles is that you have planned something and you're waiting for it to grow and um, this is what is happening you basically plant something you're waiting for it to grow and it is blossoming and you're looking at your work that you have done eight of Pentacles is that here you're working on something see he's designing the pottery um, wait you know and and really taking his time to make sure the perfection of this thing is coming out now nine of Pentacles fabulous darling darling nine of Pentacles I just so love that and this is it my I want to have this Victorian I have to do a party and I'm sure I'll be inviting a lot of my youtubers because I don't know um, this is just really 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 um, you know beautiful this is this is the nine of Pentacles I've never seen it done and okay ten of Pentacles beautiful beautiful the pigment of the ten of Pentacles it's all about money fruits is um, in those time um, you had fresh fruits and you were selling um, fruits was um, the money you're making the money because it was all about buying fruits and vegetable and that sort of a thing so you were rich you know you were rich you have it this is about being rich it's not about being family but it's about being rich the page of Pentacles now the page of Pentacles now um, this um, this young child is sitting alone because he's planning he knows exactly what he wants and he's planning he's planning and he's going through this and he knows exactly what he wants okay and then we have the Knight of Pentacles who is always the person who is always rescuing you so the Knight of Pentacles is always rescuing you because he knows um, what he wants okay so <laughs> Knight of Pentacles is always rescuing you because after he rescues you and he's gonna romance you and then you know you're there <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my god then we have the Queen of Pentacles darling lavish lavish <laughs> okay um the queen of pentacles so yeah that would be your show girl she has said she has the first perfume in the um in your city in your street she has the first and bag she has the, the newest shoes and that sort of a thing that is your um um ace of pent um uh, Queen of Pentacles and then we have the last and finest final the king of um, Pentacles 
um, beautiful, a well rich man. Um, he has someone, his helpers, very rich. He has his castle. Um, he wears a, a, a crown, but he's not really uh, a king, but he's just really someone with money. Okay, all right. Um, not everyone, um, so I have to really um, um, think about these cards. I should say I am, um, I, I like them. It is the, the Victorian's cards. I'm saying they're well done. The um, how the artistic, uh, oh, it's depict is wonderful. I am. Um, I love the back of them. I love the front of them. I love the colors. I love the vibrant colors, and I'm giving them a nine. And why a nine? And a lot of people say why a nine is because, uh, from I myself love the Victorian type um, of dressing. Uh, I don't know about other people because I I do like it, um, and I think it's a wonderful card. I think anything over eight, um, eight plus nine, um, eight. 8.8 I give it 8.8 because um, I personally love it but I can't view it from my personal self I'm viewing it from how other people sees the deck I think it's a beautiful deck beautiful the artistic work is just so fantastic I think it's a wonderful deck, and I think for myself um, for myself I would love this deck I would use this deck I'm going to use this deck because that's one of the reasons why I got this deck um, and I for myself I would give it a 10 but I have to be honest about how the public look at it and uh, um, I basically think it's a fantastic deck I like the size of it I like the feelings of the card I think it's a good deck so I'm going back to my nine I'm sorry going back to my nine um it will be an eight and a half but I'm going back to my nine because of the color the vibrancy of the color then you know in those time it depict um the Victorian hero very very good so um congratulations Alex and Kareen um you know this deck is going to be a beautiful deck it's a romantic deck it's the um Victorian romantic Torah deck uh, Tara deck and I'm um, giving you a nine I'm sorry because the work is so good the lightning on um, this is, is so fantastic you can see it from any angle the lightning how it depicts the lightning so I'm sorry guys I'm giving it a nine so um, I love you guys um, and uh, um, take care I'm gonna do other reviews so please leave your message below and uh, thank you for being here namaste